Hello, this is Carl Bodeker from Vinton Automation, and today I'd like to introduce our FP188 pedestal with FH155 head with a star tracker option for navigation. So traditionally our robotic pedestal would navigate off of a floor-based target system. This is a, an L-based uh, tape target. The pedestal navigates to find a zero position, but then all the shots from there are created through dead reckoning. So as the pedestal moves, you, shots are quite repeatable, but as the day goes on and you accumulate more run time with the floor time with the pedestal, we start to get a little drift in our final position. So through the use of Star Tracker, we're now using real-time navigation using a star cluster that gets mounted to lighting grid, ceiling, anywhere above. Lighting does not interfere with it. We put them up in a four or 500 uh, cluster. And if a unit gets blocked by lights, it still only needs to see 15 stars or so to navigate properly. So a typical arrangement would be 30, 40, 50 stars at any time. But what that enables us to do is we no longer need a four target. So everything is referenced through Star Tracker. And therefore, every shot is a point-to-point -point exact measurement from the Moses Star Tracker system. Let's show you a... Let's show you Star Tracker in, op in action. So here's our grid. Shows a display of what we're getting from the Moses camera. We're getting X, Y, Z, pan tilt, zoom, focus. All that information is gathered, and we're using that in all of our preset shots. So now I'm going to grab a position. I'm going to send the pedestal to its start position. Once it gets there, I can now trigger this to go in a nice, smooth arc position extremely repeatable. I'm keeping the talent in frame and this is something previously not achievable without Star Tracker. So I hope you enjoyed my introduction to Moses. Happy NAB 2022. <laughs> Have a